Good afternoon everyone. I am Prashant Harish Sara. I am currently studying in third year OIT1 MBBS. I am from 2019 batch. Since the competency based medical education was implemented in 2019, we are one of the very first batches to experience this transformation. The pattern of assessment has changed especially in the subject of biochemistry. Clinical case based questions are asked not only in the theory but also in practical exams. Nowadays, we don't get direct questions on estimation or urine report. Instead, they are also asked in case based format. When I was in first year, it was difficult for me to find all the cases at one place. I have seen this book, a clinical case based approach on clinical biochemistry, and many of my friends have also gone through it. Prima Pesi, we find this book quite useful and considering next and considering the CBME, it will be very beneficial. So let us discuss with the authors of the book, Dr. Anita Ma'am and Dr. Yogesh sir. One of the authors, Dr. Preeti Ma'am is not available with us today. So Ma'am, who all can use this book? Yeah, this book is basically, it was designed for first phase uh, MBBS students. But looking at the feedback from uh, publishers, uh, even phase 2, phase 3, phase 4 students, even interns are purchasing this book and even PG students of uh, medicine, pathology, pediatrics, they are also purchasing this book from the market. So it seems it is useful for them too. And uh, even uh, if we see, if you see the NEAT PG exam paper pattern, which is going to be replaced soon by next uh, exam, the more more clinical case based questions will be asked and more uh, you know application based questions will be asked integrated questions will be asked and so definitely this book will be you know useful for even pg aspirants uh, and uh, we again got the feedback from publishers that even uh, need pg aspirants or next aspirants are purchasing this book so it is going to definitely help those students yeah so uh, yeah as you understand this book is not only useful only for first years but it will be helpful for us uh, throughout the MBBS final year as well as for the competitive exams like the next or the next thing. Yes. Uh, sir, why should one prefer this book? Okay. Uh, see, it's just like uh, buying any intellectual content. So, whenever we buy any intellectual content, what we will look for is the content, whether it is desired content or not, and we will look for the authenticity and validity of that particular content. So, likewise, here also, it's a complete package of, we can say, the applied aspects of clinical biochemistry. And along with that, it is not just a theoretical one, but whatever information is given in this uh, case book, in the form of content of cases, that has been validated by the clinicians who are practicing. So, it's a peer group reviewed, validated content available in a complete package. So, that's why this is a, this is a uh, we can say, a good content what a student can read and can score more. So, I think the student should buy this and uh, make use of it. Yeah, so as, as we understand, uh, like I said in my first year, I have to refer very, uh, many of my friends including I have to refer various different books to compile all the information. But now since this book is available and validated by the clinicians also, so this will help us get all the authentic information at once. Uh, and can you uh, add on what are the unique features of this book? Uh, yes, uh, this is a unique book uh, in a way like uh, each uh, you know case uh, begins with a case scenario and then the contents are given in a question answer format. So, uh, you know, how this is going to help students? Students usually don't know what questions can be asked in any case. So, students will come to know what type of questions are important in a particular disease. That is one advantage and secondly, each question is answered so aptly in the case book. So the students understand what to write for that question. So it will definitely, you know, make them clearer about the questions which are asked, not only in the exams, but which questions are important and how to present that. Moreover, if you see the theory question papers in last a few uh, years since CBME has come, uh, in theory paper you get directly four case scenario based questions and besides that there are a lot of comprehension and application based questions too. And uh, even in practicals, if you see, usually uh, previously we used to ask direct questions, as you said, like estimation, blood glucose level. But these days we are giving a case scenario. Students themselves have to decide what to estimate and then they estimate it. So this book will help not only in theory, it will also help in the practicals, you know, performance in the practical examination. Yeah. Uh, 
Besides that, it helps uh, you know in understanding or developing the approach to analyze any clinical case based on the key factors which are given in the case scenario, based on the you know laboratory report given, based on the uh, the investigations uh, and other examination findings given in the case. So this is how you know they build overall uh, their thinking. Uh, they can analyze it. They they learn the approach how to analyze the case. This is one. And uh, with this uh, understanding, and if, if they read this book thoroughly, they will definitely you know put what they know in a much organized way in theory as well as in a practical, and that will definitely help them in school. Uh, yeah, I would like to add more points in this. Uh, besides being so resourceful, but definitely it is not an information overload. So we have tried to keep only the required information. So what are the basic information is required for a student to pass and have a basic knowledge of that particular disease, we have kept that only. And that's why it is handy, compact and crisp. And it is so handy that you can revise the cases anywhere. I mean, you can sit in canteen and just revise two, three cases over a cup of tea. That is also possible. That's why it is handy and compact. And yes, because it is handy and compact, the cost of the book is so uh, affordable and cheap that it is hardly uh, any other book with question answer format is available at that cheaper rate. And if, if at all you want to go and purchase the book, you can just go to the nearest medical bookstore or uh, you can buy it from Amazon. You can uh, just scan the QR code and put the order for the book. Yeah, so that, that's a very tempting qualities of the book that we nowadays look for, like Chris. Uh, have the to the point information as well as if the question answer yes. uh, So I would like to know more about this. Can you elaborate on what exactly and how uh, in the book the question answer format is there? So let me explain this with the help of a, one of the cases from the book. Like this is one of the cases picked up from the book. This is a case of sickle cell anemia. So for every case we have given a scenario like this along with the laboratory report. And if you see carefully in this case, there are a few key, key factors, key words and uh, key investigation factors with, which helps in diagnosis. So the first question in this case asked is what is the probable diagnosis and give its justification. The probable diagnosis is given here as sickle cell anemia along with the diagram of sickle cells and the justification has been uh, explain with the help of certain key factors which are given in the case. If you see the case carefully, you'll find a few key factors. Like in the case scenario, it is uh, given that the patient is from the Vidarbha region, there is failure to thrive, there is jaundice, there is pain and swelling of hands and feet, and there is a family history of sickle cell anemia, which gives us a clue from the scenario itself that it is a case of sickle cell anemia. Secondly, the key factor in the examination is the patient is icteric, which confirms, almost confirms the diagnosis, again gives us a clue, we can say. And finally, the key factors in the investigations are the RBCs are sickle cell on the peripheral smear, the hemoglobin is low, the serum bilirubin is increased, particularly the unconjugated type of bilirubin and the RBC count is low, which confirms the diagnosis. So in this format, every case is uh, explained based on the, or on the basis of the key factors present in the case scenario. Another question which is asked here is, what is the inheritance of the disease? And it is nicely explained here along with the molecular defect for each case. Next question is, explain the biochemical basis of the disorder. So in a similar fashion, each case has been explained, each, the biochemical basis of each case has been explained uh, nicely in the bullet form. Another question is, what are the characteristic clinical features of the disorder? And you can see here the clinical features are explained again point wise like vasoecclusive crisis, dactylitis, pillar and icterus. That is explained in short uh, required information is provided. Another question is why are sickle cell trait patients resistant to malaria? So this is also explained in short here why sickle cell trait patients are resistant to malaria. So in a similar fashion every case uh, and its association with the metabolic processes is being explained. And another question is what investigations are required to diagnose the condition and the investigation, the screening as well as the diagnostic tests are covered under this, under this question for every case. 
along with the diagrams or the graphs or the slides wherever applicable and final question is how can this patient be managed and the complete management right how the patient should be uh, taken care along with the treatment what drugs he should take, take for the particular disease that has been explained for everyone okay so this format is definitely going to help us because now the case based questions are asked not only in SAQs but even our long answer questions are structured and they have the cases and breakage of marks is given in the form of short questions so this is definitely going to help us in that um, sir would you like to add on what are the new features we can expect in the upcoming editions yeah uh, based on the response from the publisher and the feedback which we have got from UG as well as PG students, we got to know that the users want colored images and they want uh, the content in a graphical format because it is a, already a question answer format and now they want in a good properly graphic proper graphics format. So in the next edition, we'll be adding more colored images and the graphics format so that the overall content will be lucid, more lucid and uh, illustrative. And uh, as the users have demanded few more cases. So we have identified 50 to 20 cases and we are going to include those uh, additional cases in the next edition. So this is what the next edition will be coming up with good uh, interactive graphics, images and few more cases. Especially the chromosomal abnormalities. Yes, chromosomal abnormalities are there in hormonal uh, disorders of the also be included in that. Yeah, definitely we will also be waiting for the second edition to arrive. Yeah. So, I believe we got uh, many insights on this new case book uh, after a discussion with the authors. And I believe this book is not only going to make the subject interesting, but it will also help us to develop our understanding of the disease process right from the first year and its impact in the form of our understanding of the etiopathogenesis will be seen more in the clinical years as well as in the competitive exams like the NEED or the NETS. Thank you, Prashant, yeah, for uh, you know uh, representing the students from your side. Uh, thank you so much. And we, the authors, Dr. Preeti, myself, and Dr. Yogesh, we would also like to uh, thank the publishers uh, for uh, publishing our content and gave us this opportunity so that we can you know share our knowledge with the students. Yeah. Thank you so much. And they give us uh, your constructive feedback so that we can improve this edition. Perfect. Uh, further and uh, whatever your suggestions are, we will definitely uh, incorporate in the next editions. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. I would, I would like to uh, I would like to refer this book to all my colleagues as well as juniors. You can buy and see yourself and then give us the feedback. Thank, Thank you. you.